Hi guys, today we'll mess around with the Odin 2 Virtual Synthesizer. I have seen these requests from my subscribers that they want to learn the synth, not only by using the presets it has, but actually tweaking the sounds themselves. So yeah, let's start. Uh, in my opinion, the Odin 2 is the best way to get you started with sound design. And uh, my idea is to create some basses, some atmospheres, some effects, some FME sounds today. <clears throat> And uh, yeah, let's start by that. We will tweak the bass maybe. This is default preset. Let's choose an analog oscillator, put it two octaves down, and choose a saw wave. Let's add another saw wave, two octaves down, synchronized. Sounds pretty clean. Now we will add another filters. Let's use Korg 35 low pass. It's like legacy filter or something. I haven't seen that much of this thing. Maybe let's get rid of this low pass 24 dB. And uh, yeah, let's write a baseline or something. Let's go for triplets. Let's open the pen roll. Snap. 1 6 bits. Okay, this sounds dark. Alright, now we want to play around with the other options we have. Amplifier envelope, filter envelope. Normally what I do is that I decrease every value at zero and slowly fade in the, sli uh, fade in the sliders up and down so till I hear the uh, result which I'm satisfied with and uh, yeah let's start we have no sound at this point let's increase the sustain on the amplifier release a bit decay and now we will play around the filter envelope um, and here as well we want to decrease every parameter at zero that's really convenient Except again, let's keep the gain so we have the sound. And also, we want to put offset one and two input here on the uh, this filter. Sounds pretty dark, Psyish. I like it. We can always increase the saturation and uh, also the distortion if we want to. Alright, I'm satisfied with this result. I'm gonna keep it like this, pretty simple, and let's save it. User patches, save. Let's call it as dark base psi. Okay, nice. Now let's go and make another preset. Let's keep this one, but let's open a new Odin 2 instance. And we could make, I don't know, maybe a uh, FME sound. So let's go for FM oscillator here. Let's change the carrier type. Uh, square. Sounds pretty 
pretty sexy, right? Um, now, on the modulation matrix, we will play around with the uh, cutoff. We want to change it to high pass actually, 24 dB maybe. We will choose L41 as our source and the destination gonna be the frequency. So the L41 will modulate the frequency. So here you can change the time base of it. Maybe let's increase the attack a bit. Let's add the delay. 1.8 maybe. Okay, we could add a reverb, it sucks that there's no reverb in order to, but we could add an external reverb on the mixer, so let's add maybe an ambient reverb, like ambient reverb, let's see. A bit too much of decay, so we're gonna lower it. Maybe two different presets. All right. Maybe let's increase the tempo and switch to different baselines so we hear something from dark side maybe. <coughs> Let's switch the cell and rewrite the baseline. Like this. Oops. It's a bit too loud. Phaser. Phaser can be cool. Uh, we could change the tapes of carriers and modulators. In this type, basically you can uh, manipulate the frequency. Uh, it sounds like a lead or something. It also be a, can be an effect or anything, you know. The trick is to give the psychedelic vibe to it. Um, okay, let's keep it like this. Uh, we could also okay. Let's make some atmospheres. Atmospheres, atmospheres, Odin two. Let's see, wavetable, let's choose some harshness. Mm -hmm. 
Let's play with the wave table positioning and let's modulation. Modulation gonna be alpha one. And we want to increase the attack. Most of the times, pads and atmospheres has a long attack and a long release. Uh, I want to link this um, LFO one also for the cutoff of our frequency. Let's also add the reverb. And let's add some delay as well. Uh, my idea is also to play around with the distortion. Let's enable it. And let's add the source as the modulation wheel. And let's link it to frequency. Uh, not the frequency, but the distortion boost. Let's see. Pretty nice. Let's stack another oscillators. Let's stack maybe a noise oscillator. So we have like uh, some sort of a wind effect. Let's add another wavetable maybe. What if we use the format? Okay, it sounds pretty dope. Uh, okay, we could make one more preset. Let's make something with a sequencer. <coughs> Let's use FM oscillator. Okay, here you have the arpeggiator, you have to enable it by pressing this button. A uh, cool idea would be play with the cutoff and distortion. Um, I think we could do that. Alright, so we have modulations here. On the modulation matrix we can use ARP mod 1. And this ARP mod 1 gonna affect our frequency of the low pass and maybe the distortion type. Distortion boost, I mean. And you have to change these values on modulation 1. Said uh, reverb. Thank you. 
Let's try to make a bit of melodic stuff going on. Here we have, uh, when you click on this mod too, you can also switch the transports, which is basically like switching to up to note, you know. Uh, let's try. Let's use delay. Ping pong, synchronized, one to eight. Basically on this mod one you can affect each individual note with the cutoff, you know, and make it sound pretty unique and stuff like that. So yeah, it takes uh, quite a long time to get really smooth sounds, really ready presets, presets which you should export, but... It sounds pretty nice, uh, even though it's really, really simple uh, at this point. Anyway, this is my demonstration of how to tweak some sounds in Odin 2. I hope that you understand the basic workflow and you have a good insight how to use it in your productions. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys and have a great day.